The unprecedented human rights violations that have resulted in millions of Uyghur Muslims being detained in internment camps is harrowing. Which nation, which government, which authority or leader in the Muslim world will stand up for Uyghur Muslims and take action to gain their freedom? It's not only about denouncing the oppression and discrimination against Uyghur Muslims in China, but it's a moral responsibility to hold Chinese authorities accountable for the ill treatment of Muslims in the region. The Chinese authorities have continued to implement its brutal crackdown in Xinjiang, located in the northwest region of China. Uyghur Muslims are being made to denounce their faith and embrace the Chinese Communist Party. Many mosques in Xinjiang remain empty, Fasting during Ramadan and Islamic education are being heavily restricted and banned. China's political and economic power should not be the reason for any government or authority to remain definitely silent in the wake of injustice against its own brothers and sisters. When the world denounces the persecution of Muslims in Palestine and the Rohingya, and rightly so, where is a statement to condemn the treatment of Uyghur Muslims in China? According to a report from The Guardian, James A. Millward, a scholar who has researched Exengine for three decades, argued that state repression in Exengine has never been as severe as it has become since early 2017. What would it take for a head of state in the Muslim world to challenge Chinese President Xi Jinping on the condition of Uyghur Muslims? Is getting an investment from China a reason to sell out millions of innocent Uyghur Muslims who fear for their lives? Countries such as Egypt and even Saudi Arabia have been deporting Uyghurs who have managed to escape China. The struggle of the Uyghurs has been one that has been a long history of deliberate discrimination from the Chinese government. Beijing first issued a warning by submitting documents to the United Nations describing the East Turkestan Islamic movement as a terrorist organisation. The report stated that families across the region were required to hand copies of the Quran and any other religious items to the authorities or risk facing punishment. Despite the awareness of the persecution of Uyghurs rapidly growing around the world, there still remains to be little pressure on governments to speak up and take action against the Chinese authorities. China has become a key trading hub on a global scale, which is part of the heartbreaking reason why silence is prevailing over injustice. But for how long can countries around the world continue to remain silent?